Guys, this is a brief comparison between Vitalon i7 Pro and Electric XP 3.0 version. Michael is a subscriber to the channel. We connected and we met up on the west side so we can check and compare M6 with the i7 Pro. I was not aware that he'll bring the Electric XP 3.0 version to the meetup, so I decided to ask him a few questions about this bike. He owned it a little bit over one week, and I'd like to see how he finds i7 Pro and compare it after he tries this bike. So many of you asked me to review Electric, and I have not had the chance yet to review their models, and I hope it happens in the near future, but I'm glad to finally see one in person today. All right, guys, so we're west side, and I'm with Michael here. He's one of the subscribers, and... Uh, he actually has the electric uh, 3.0, right? Yeah, the XP 3.0. And uh, I have here the Vitalon i7 Pro. So this is not a comparison, just to show you guys a few thoughts about this bike. And I want Michael to try this model and just share with us uh, small differences. And uh, he got this bike last week and uh, I never tried this before. You guys asked in the comments uh, so many times to review this, uh, this model. So this is not gonna be a full review, just uh, impressions. And uh, Michael owned this for a little bit over a week. So I wanna see what he thinks and what he uh, likes or doesn't like about this model. I love this bike. Uh, I think it's the best value I've ever seen on any e-bike out there. I don't even have 40 miles as you can see on the dashboard. It's only 37 original miles. I got this with the Black Friday sale with the comfort package. So. It has the larger headlight, which is so much better than previous e-bikes headlights that I've seen before. Uh, good beam. And it also came with a suspension seat post and suspension seat. How um, is the suspension here? It's, it's soft. It's cushy. It's almost too soft for me. I think I might keep the seat, but put a regular seat post. Does it's it just, make any vibration, any noise? No, no. It's no. very quiet. It's very soft. But I like a little bit more feedback when I ride, especially here in the city. Um, I love the fact that it's 3 inch wide wheels, not 4 inch. It's something different. The road noise is very quiet. Oh, and that's the other thing. This might be the quietest motor I've seen yet on an e-bike. I barely hear it rolling when I'm And what's the rating on this one? It's 500 nominal uh, with a 1000 watt peak. Peak, okay. Yeah. All right. And let me just show you here. So guys, so this is 4 inches and here is 3 inches. Um, not sure if it's clear in the video, but uh, definitely much uh, thinner and definitely saves on range and probably fast acceleration because much narrower, yeah. Yes. You don't need for the city, you know, four inches, definitely. And this is uh, something that came with the bike or you added this? Uh, it came with the package and I just installed it. Uh, it oh. was, part, again, a part of the comfort package. How much was the price tag? This was $1,199 plus tax. It was like uh, a little bit over $1,200, uh, $1,250, $1,260. So I personally have never tested them and I have saw in the comments uh, on the channel people ask me a lot to review it mm -hmm. but then two guys, if not three, they commented that uh, one of the guys I remember recently said that he bought this package and he plays the controller three times in like in two weeks. Really? He had issues the controller so that's why I was like okay there's a reason they're you know lower price because I believe they're maybe lower components like I can see the, the screen here it's a little bit less compared to this bike, right? Uh, the quality and the console and everything. Uh, you can you can see, you know, the grips are different. Here, high-end grips. You have, uh, you know, mechanical disc brakes. You have here hydraulics and like 180 millimeters. So much bigger, much beefier brakes. Um, not that you need them. Uh, I mean, this will still do pretty well in the city, but just a little bit higher quality. And I'm sure when it comes to the battery and the controller, there's a big difference in there. Yeah, 14 amp hour battery, uh, 20 watt controller. Yeah, that one I think is a 30 amp controller and it's 16 amp hour battery. But it depends what cells you have inside because capacity is not, not a big difference, but the cells quality and the BMS and the control, that's what makes difference you know, in power, longevity, you know, and, uh, and how will you know, the bike perform, you know, how smooth it is. But uh, how about this? Um, take your bike for a ride and uh, let me know what you think. I'd love How to. about that? Yeah, let's do that. Sure. I like this trigger shifter. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit my favorite style. Uh, the left handed. This is CIC. Yeah, this is like, yeah, much cheaper. I mean, they're, they're all, they're both fine. It's just that this one feels more nicer and looks uh, more presentable, I think. Mm -hmm. Better design. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. And the bike actually, the way you stand, I can see the axle, you know, from axle to axle, this is much longer. Yeah, that absolutely. one is a little bit narrower, yeah. Right. Right, so 
say, just in that little bit I felt right there, I could already feel this is so much torqueier and, uh, and a much better kick. And I only took it up to passengers as three. Um, just that little bit between the throttle and or fifth, pedal. Put in fifth and try in fifth. It's going to be a big difference here. Let's see. All right. I really like the feel of the brakes. Those hydraulic brakes are just, they're needed for a bike this size. The acceleration is amazing. Um, I want this bike. <laughs> I can't even say anything less than that. It's so uh, I'm just thinking right now, let's say this is 1450 on the sale right now. Mm -hmm. I think after the sale is gone, they're probably gonna go to maybe 1600, maybe 1559, I don't know, it's somewhere there. But I feel like this is 1450 now and that one is 1200, right? Right. Does it worth the difference or not? Like, what do you think? Yes, when you look at everything, uh, I mean, dual suspension, it's much better than a suspension seat post. You've got turn signal, you've got a horn, better power. I would trust this more in, and ride it all year round, in the winter, uh, in the rain. As long as it's not snowing, I don't mind riding something like this in, when it's icy out, just knowing I, I have a sense of comfort here. Well, uh, sense here, of, like, trust. here what I like is, you know, the, the biggest thing for me is the paint uh, job. Like, I like this green color and the yellow the golden uh, you know markings i just they just pop right Your for channel me it doesn't do this justice this green is so much nicer in person than it shows on screen that's what i said in the, in the review I, I love this green and so many people ask me and stop me like oh this is so cool and they like the paint job not the bike so this is really not nice then the second thing for me is the power power and and speed it's really powerful uh, gets to 31 miles an hour 30 miles an hour top speed how fast is that one uh that one did 29 29 so pretty close yeah I, yeah, think I think that's mostly because lighter weight, smaller tires, you know, less resistance. But still good. It's very, very, very close. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, go, go, go. Okay. All right. So uh, ready? One, two, three, go. I just like, I feel like here, uh, presentation, it can be more polished. I like the white and the blue, but I feel like it's too stretched. Maybe it'll be a little more compact. I feel like this uh, this folder, I think is the best folder in 2022 when it comes to like, you know, balance uh, and like power output and how it looks and how it feels. I, I just, I don't know. I like this the most from all the bikes I reviewed this year. As far as handling, I prefer the shorter wheelbase. When I was doing little turns here in the courtyard and then when I turned around in the street, uh, I know for a fact I'd be able to get a much tighter turning signal and that can make the difference between avoiding an accident or not. Yeah, yeah, true, true. I mean, this is more, I think, convenient for heavy loads. It's more stretched out, so it's more like a cargo bike. Yes, So you can definitely. put more here and spread the weight, so it's, you know, it's more convenient for that. But if you look at the sprocket, look at the uh, drivetrain, you have a turning shifter, which is a good shifter. You have, uh, I think, 7 speed one like I said. You have, uh, I mean, it's average crank they've seen all that they're like you know cheaper bikes around 1000 to like 1200 bucks uh, range right. here you have look at this uh, it's cnc sprocket like you have eight speed uh auto shaman i think it's a little bit i mean the shifter is not uh, probably low quality but i feel like the cassette the chain and the mid sprocket you have uh, uh like metal paddles you know foldable i think it has a little bit of uh, a more polish more better quality i think i don't know uh, and the brakes, yeah. I mean, overall, battery power and the components, I think, make a difference. We we'll have to go in the dark, but I feel like they both might be good. Maybe this one more intensity, a little bit. Yeah, I think that one is more intense, more brighter. But yeah, guys, these are the bikes. <laughs> and uh, what else uh, we need to add here? What do you think? You know what? The, the Vitalon, it feels like quality. Uh, it feels much more stable, more a nicer quality build than the electric. As much as I love the electric, and this is my second one, I had the 2.0 before this, the Vitalon feels more more solid. Like, more fine, it's yeah. confidence inspiring, let's say. I, I still like this one. If you're in a budget, this is a good option, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, how about the suspension? How suspension for you? Oh, it's great. This is a 15 millimeter, uh, it was 40 of the previous model. I noticed a 10 millimeter difference. 
potholes don't bother me anymore, let's say. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Yeah. Uh, this fork, I think, is the best that I tried so far. This pneumatic, right? The pneumatic and has this, uh, let me see if I can, it has the valve here, which I mentioned, which makes a big difference. So you can pump enough air that you want to, right? Right. And right. really have a lot of travel. And it has this uh, coating on the, on the, I mean, it's just, it's, I think it's more advanced. Like this fork is really adjustable, has, uh, I think, more settings than, than the other one. It's more advanced. So you have here lockout, and you have so many positions to really adjust it to make it, you know, like okay. really. Uh, this one's just on or off. Just on and off, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lower level quality. But I feel like, look, uh, the difference in price is not so big, but you have so much more on Vitalon and also Polarna, which I like. Polarna actually goes faster than this, it goes 35, 34, 36. Okay. Um, I get here 31, 30. So, but torque wise, this one. Uh, it's much much uh, speedier of the start, you know, like from from that zero. Yeah. yeah, it's much much faster. So, I mean, I feel like this is better. But then hopefully I can get my friend with the M6 uh, next week and we can compare. And also, also I'm getting the Angui Pro, so hope right. we can compare all three or four bikes and uh, see the difference. But guys, this is a, a quick uh, follow up, uh, a short uh, comparison between uh, electric. Hope I can get this model. Uh, by the end of this year, hopefully first week of next, next year and compare and do a more in-depth review. But guys, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.